thanks for joining my show today. Today we're going to talk about cholesterol and how to fix it. A number of you um, have read my book, Cholesterol and the French Paradox, and as you know, I'm a bit of an expert on the subject, so I'd like to just take a moment to uh, talk about several items to help put in context this issue of cholesterol for those that, are, uh, that have recently been diagnosed with this condition and feel they need to do something about it. There's three things that, in my research that I found very interesting. The first was when I started, I looked and said, okay, the best way to determine uh, what is normal cholesterol level is not to look at the cholesterol level of people that are in a, a society where everyone's dying. Um, the smart thing to do would be to go and look at Western countries that have a, a high standard of living where people don't have a lot of heart disease and to see what is normal cholesterol for those people. So we had a look at France, for example. And in France, the average cholesterol for, uh, if we look at males over the age of 46, because generally cholesterol is something that applies to people getting a little bit older, that the average cholesterol level for a French person is 235. Um, of course, not everyone can be exactly 235, so the range is 200 to 278, and that's in a country where not a lot of people are getting heart disease. Um, in the European system, by the way, for those of you that uh, use that scale, what we're saying is, is um, uh, in France the range is between 5 and 7 is the average range for people that aren't getting a lot of heart disease. So we should look at that and say, okay, well that must be normality in a place where people aren't getting heart disease. Let's assume that to be fact number one, which is quite different from what a lot of doctors are telling their patients. Um, Point number two is that uh, in all the research, when we went into it, we found that women, older women with high cholesterol, live longer than older women with normal cholesterol. Now this is really interesting news because older women with elevated cholesterol are being told to take medication. But the stats show that they will actually live longer, so they shouldn't be taking medication. The third item that we found very interesting was the question of drugs to get the cholesterol down. If they didn't do any harm, well, then you might sort of say, maybe it's worth giving them a go. But they do a lot of harm, and one of the, there's a number of areas where they're actually quite damaging. And the, the one that concerns me the most is its effect on the human brain. The, the, the dry weight of the human brain is 8% pure cholesterol. And so if you choose to start to reduce the cholesterol levels in the body, including the human brain, some weird things start to happen. Now, one of the ones is cognitive decline. The number of women I spoke to whose husband had taken cholesterol medication, these are, are males, maybe around about the age of 50, who had kind of lost it in terms of cognitive decline, you know, was really a sad thing for some of these women where their husbands lost their jobs or unemployable and so on. And that's because they took their cholesterol level down way too low, and the brain wants cholesterol to enable it to think. So if you start tampering with your cholesterol, then there is a risk that you might be one of those people that's susceptible to it. Now, of course, the neurons run right through to, to the end peripheries where we have touch and feel. So there's a number of people that have lost the actual feeling um, in, in their extremities, be it their feet and their hands and so on. Um, in many cases, it's not reversible. So I think the point we want to make here is, you know, there's no free lunches in life that firstly, cholesterol in the range that I'm advocating based on our research, you know, if you're somewhere between 200 and 278, you're absolutely normal. If you're a little bit outside that range, well, so be it. Um, and finally, women, well, if you've got elevated cholesterol, you're going to live a long time. And finally, you know, be very careful in terms of the drugs we take because of the price that you might pay. There are some very good books written on this subject by people that have given their life to doing research in it. I'm going to put those at the end of this particular um, show so that you can have a look at it because if you are worried about cholesterol, these are the people that I would recommend whose books that you should read um, because I think they're really outstanding. Okay, see you at the next show.